ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon. Here, watch more. Ladies and yes, gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Nepal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, Kotecki said for all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. to lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Strike to the body here instead. It's turned away by Lee. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Nice kick. Oh, solid leg kick. Those are gonna really start to take their toll. Under three minutes remain in round one.
beautiful punch. Caught the kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Just misses with that one. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Counters with that inside leg kick. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks and you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. 90 seconds to go in round one. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Just misses there with the left. And he landed the right hand there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Big shots being landed on both sides here. <laughs> 45 seconds to go here in round one. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Right hook to the body. Single collar tie now. Keep your hands up, Come on now. 20 seconds left. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. Can I take many of those kicks? Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Round two next. All right, so let's see how he responds here, DC, after a big, big round for his opponent, courtesy of those leg kicks. I mean, he landed so many leg kicks. It's hard to understand how his opponent is not checking any of them. What is he doing in the octagon that is confusing him so much? But until his opponent answers those Ready? questions, it is Ready? not on him to change anything. Continue to throw those kicks. Huge block there. Lands with the right hand. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Three more punches. Nice head kick. Try to establish that jab. Big kick land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent was to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range.
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he caught the kick. Checks the leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body kick. Hands high, hands high. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Lee. Take you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course, he mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's gotta hurt very badly. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. That's a big strike right there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Oh, nice lead uppercut. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Hands up, hands up. Oh, collar tie. Good stick. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Nice leg kick land. Side kick, well done. Final seconds here. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Here we go. 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Just missed with the left there. Effective punch there by Lee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Shut the liver down. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Got clip with the right hand. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, he's, hurt bad. he's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Blocks the shot. Big hook. Oh, nice high kick. Slips. Big kick. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Great punch. Nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land the strike. Superman punch. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Head 
kick blocked. Nice leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. to connect. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Checks the leg kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, and there's the Brooks. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Nice sneaky head kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Back and forth we go! Let's go! There's no tell on that leg kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Whoa! Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nice uppercut. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Landed a big kick there. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, feet on the hips here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to the feet now. Single collar tie now. Beautiful strike. Nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very oh, traditional yeah. technique that a lot of guys are using now in the US. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Are you ready? You ready? 
Here we go, fifth and final round. Right hook to the head block. Oh, that right hand is on point. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. Nope. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, knee strike right to the body. That was a jab. Oh, blocks the shot. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Good punch lands. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Big punch man. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Right hand on point. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Let's go. Use the jab. Use the jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. What a body kick. with that jab attempt there. Slips to avoid the right. Got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Well, at this point of the fight. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Johnson. He's out of pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, wow. That was nasty. <laughs> A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by...